Welcome back to my channel. This is Batel from Batel's Kitchen. I'm so excited to have you back over here. Today we're going to be sharing eight different open face sandwiches slash toast ideas. I absolutely love all these kinds of ranch breakfast meals. They're so practical, they're easy, they're fast, they're nourishing, they're delicious, and they're so good for busy moms or for people who just want something very filling but also satisfying and delicious. Today I'm going to show you eight different kinds that are also very much kid friendly. My kids eat them all the time. We play around with the fruits that we have, with the season of the fruits or whatever we have on hand. It doesn't have to be exact, but here I am to inspire you and show you eight different ways of really, really yummy and so delicious toast. If you're new over here, I would love for you to subscribe to my channel. I post a new recipe every single week and all the measurements and everything that you need in order to make these yummy toasts are going to be in the description box below so you can check it out. Okay, let's get started. For this peanut butter apple toast, we're going to start with removing the core from the apple. We're then going to go ahead and we're going to slice it very thinly with a mandoline or with a knife. And then we're going to go ahead and spread a generous amount of peanut butter on top of our toasted bread. We're using a natural peanut butter. On top of that, we're going to add our sliced apple. And then we kind of top it with a little bit of chia seeds for more healthy fat and healthy fibers and healthy omegas. And to finish it off, we're gonna drizzle some honey and we are ready to go. This toast is crunchy, it is delicious, it is sweet, it is very, very satiating. For the next recipe, we're gonna make a toast that is probably the most popular at my house. We're gonna do our toasted bread with bananas and strawberries. So we're going to spread today some almond butter, but you can do any butter you love. And then we're going to arrange our bananas and sliced strawberries on top. And then we're going to drizzle a little bit of honey or maple syrup for sweetness. And then we're going to top it off with a little bit of hemp seeds for healthy omegas, healthy fats, and also proteins. This toast is so delicious, very practical, and so easy to put together. Gonna start by spreading our peanut butter on top of our toasted whole wheat bread then we're gonna add our homemade blueberry chia jam I'm gonna link the recipe down below and then we're gonna add some bananas for natural sweetener And we're going to add a little bit of fresh blueberries as well for more texture. We're then going to top it off with some honey and pumpkin seeds. These seeds are loaded with health benefits. They're also going to give us a nice crunch and texture. 
this toast is full of antioxidants very very filling full of fiber and so so delicious For the next recipe, we're gonna make some summer nectarine peanut butter toast. This nectarine is so sweet and crunchy and so perfect on a toast. You can either use sunflower butter, peanut butter, or almond butter. We're gonna top off our nectarine slices on top of the spread. We're gonna add a little bit of honey and we're gonna top it off with some chia seeds as well. And for crunch, and healthy fats, we're gonna add some sunflower seeds. This humble toast is full of texture, delicious and sweetness. For the next recipe, we're gonna do a fancy halva toast. If you love halva and you, and you love tahini, this recipe is for you. So we're going to start with a little bit of dark chocolate. We're going to slice it with a knife and then we're going to spread our whole tahini on top of our toasted bread. I'm using whole tahini because, it's, because it has more calcium than the regular one. Then we're going to add a little bit of honey. With the back of the spoon, we're going to swirl it around until the consistency emulsified and it becomes like a paste. Then on top of that, we're going to add a bunch of fresh blueberries and then we're going to top it off with our sliced chocolate. And now for more healthy fats, healthy omegas, we're going to add a little bit of hemp seeds as well. This toast is so special. It has beautiful textures and the most important, if you love tahini and you love halva, this recipe is for you. And now we're gonna move on to make the most satisfying and very known avocado flour toast. We're gonna start by slicing avocado into half, remove the skin and place it on top of our cutting board. Very thinly with a sharp knife, we're gonna slice it into even thin slices. And then we're gonna start to open it outwards until it is nice and long. And now we're gonna start to turn it inwards in a circular motion until we get a really nice flour. Then we're gonna insert the knife underneath the avocado flour and transfer it to the middle of our toasted bread. And now we're gonna top it off with a little bit of dry chili flakes for heat, a little bit of salt and pepper. and some toasted sesame seeds as well. And then we're gonna finish it off with a little bit of olive oil and this toast is ready. This toast is so creamy, satisfying, delicious, elegant, something I could eat every single day of my life. We're gonna take some whole tahini and transfer it to a bowl. To that, we're gonna add a little bit of honey and cacao powder. We're gonna mix it up until the whole thing thickens up and becomes a chocolate spread. We're gonna spread it generously on top of our toasted bread. And we're gonna top it off with some sliced strawberry. You can really do any fruits you love but my kids absolutely love strawberries and this is a very popular at our house we're gonna add a little bit of sunflower seeds and some hemp seeds for healthy fats and we're gonna finish it off with a little bit of honey or maple syrup this toast is surprisingly amazing it is loaded with calcium and healthy fats and if you're a tahini lover this one definitely is going to be your favorite
For the next recipe, we're gonna start by spreading our homemade tahini spread on top of our toasted bread. And then we're gonna add some either tomatoes or sliced cucumbers. And then to make it extra decadent, we're gonna add everything bagel spice. And then we're gonna top it off with a little bit of olive oil and some parsley or cilantro. This humble toast is exactly like we eat it in Israel. So simple and very, very delicious. That's it for today my friends i hope you enjoyed i would love to know which toast was your favorite mine was probably the avocado but also the tahini halva chocolate spread because it's so so good and also very very healthy so i probably go with that one but i would love to know which one was yours and if you're new over here don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell and if you're looking for more plant-based recipes that are healthy, delicious, gluten-free, vegan, and so good for you, I invite you to check out my cookbook, Eggless Possibilities. You can find so many meals that the whole family can enjoy. Thanks so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.